You know you heard them Punjabi boys getting that money, right? Better act right, nigga. Yeah. This is the biography and other information on Jimmy Sly Sandhu and his killers. Jimmy was born in India and moved to Abbotsford, Canada with his family for a better life when he was 7 years old. Slice was getting picked into fights easily in school when he was 14 to 15 years old and didn't have many friends when he moved to Canada. When Slice was younger he was under guys like Happy Chal and Judge Herkunkin. In 2013 Happy Chal was murdered by Matt Campbell a Red Scorpion member. In traffic Happy was shot, bullet ripped through his heart and less than hour later Happy died in hospital. Slice seen Matt Campbell in 2014 and stabbed him in the neck and claimed to the cops it was self-defense, but it was really payback for his best friend Happy. In 2015 the charges stayed at Slice, which means issue of guilt or innocence is never determined, and the Crown will only continue the case if new evidence available in the future. Month later he appeared on public safety warning issued by police in Abbotsford, BC. Slice was deported in early 2016 for serious criminality, even though he was married to a Canadian woman. He was involved in crimes like assault for breaking into a pregnant woman's home and threatening her in 2010, beating a man with a brick outside of a pub in 2012, which led to his deportation. In June 2018 Slice was arrested in India for running illicit drug manufacturing plant, producing the drug ketamine at his factory in Goa, and smuggling it out of India, and selling it to traffickers in Canada and other countries. After the finished product was smuggled the payments were made through a Hawala money transfer system which is banned in India, and leaves no trace for the feds about the transaction. The Directorate of Revenue Intelligence raided 308 kilograms of ketamine, 2,000 kilograms of the raw material, enough to make another 250 kilograms of the drugs such as hashish, cocaine and opium, worth 5.7 Canadian dollars, and mentioned Slice as a key player. According to Jimmy's lawyer, Jimmy was tortured by the dry official, forced to sign documents, and have nothing to do with factory and go. When Slice was on bail, he disappeared from India with fake IDs and had a Canadian passport and driver's license with different names. Slice used travel in and out of Canada and different countries to establish connections and having a plush apartment in Dubai. Slice was estimated to be making millions every year, and Slice had a handful of kids working for him in various settings, such as Dial at Dope and Reload. Dial at Dope settings are where drug dealers are contacted by junkies to distribute drugs. The drug dealer delivers the drugs to them kind of like a pizza delivery guy, or hires few other people like the goofs you know flexing cash. A reload is like usually the person supplying the large amount of drugs to dealers so they can sell to customers. He had kids ranging from 15 all the way up to 30, ranging from high school kids to international students. Slice also had handful of hitters that he would pay to carry out hits from his young kids, looking to make a name for themselves, and not doing much time in jail if they do get caught. Hits would range from 15k all the way to 100k depending on the intended target. His main beef was with Red Scorpions, Brothers Keepers and Wolfpack Gang. It's being rumored that Woodpack had a hand in killing Slice. Wolfpack members seen Slice at a tattoo parlor and Slice's friends told them to leave Thailand. However Slice didn't listen, and it's rumored he was seen once again, where they put a tracker on his car, and later jumped out of the bushes, and fired up to 20 shots at Slice, as he got out of his car. Thailand police was one of the best police we've ever seen with a low budget compared to Canada. They still managed to find the two killers and recovered the guns from the sea. The both killers served in Canadian Army as infantrymen and left the military as corporals, but it's not confirmed if they served together. One of the killers was Duper, who was arrested in Edmonton, Alberta, on February 20, 2022. The other killer was Jean Carl Larkamp who was on the run. The feds put a 100k reward on any anonymous info that will lead to his arrest. Later died in a plane crash on April 19, 2022, with three other who were Duncan Bailey, who was awaiting trial for the attempted murder, Appin of Honda who was the pilot of the aircraft, and last Hank Hong, who was an avid young pilot. 
The aircraft was a four-seater Piper Cherokee. The pilot was Abhin of Honda, who was reported to transport Canada in December 2021 for running on licensed air taxi service and tourist flights on a non-commercial aircraft, claiming to be a flight instructor when he was not. Transport Canada did not take any action. I've got unconfirmed information that Apinov started flying small aircrafts in 2017 before 2017 he was bodybuilding in India. The plane was overloaded and they were going to Toronto according to the Canadian press. Currently the plane crash is investigated by TSB and the results will generally complete it within 220 days.